Hello there, and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And welcome back, guys. Finally, another episode of Build It Better. Uh, this is episode six, and uh, I got some things that I want to cover uh, in this episode. Uh, for the Twitter followers, uh, I've got a church over there that I had mentioned. I'm going to show that later, a uh, possible tutorial that I might uh, be coming up uh, maybe in a couple weeks. I'll show that to y'all. Uh, get some opinions on that, but as for this episode, we're going to cover terraforming. Uh, basically, massive landscaping. If you remember in uh, episode one, uh, I was talking about when you first set your house up, you want to build it in an area and, and kind of use the surrounding uh, terrain without disturbing it and completely wiping it out. Uh, well, there are cases where you're going to have to do that. And in this case, I'm going to show you two different uh, styles of, uh, of terraforming. One is completely leveling land, and then in the older town, I'm going to show you how to actually add land back. Um, so why, why would we want to level so much land? Well, like we said before, uh, the, the smaller town up here is eventually going to get bigger. So, and we was going to work out this direction here and eventually have some sort of a city. Um, maybe out further on the horizon out in here we don't just want to build it right here on this other side of the bridge uh, remember you're scaling too uh, so as this town starts to grow and, and move this way the buildings have to get bigger and you want to make a nice transition between um, you know like a smaller area and a bigger area so for starting out uh, it, it takes a lot of planning and a lot of thinking out for me it's a lot of flying around and just looking at shit um, so I start, you know, I start surveying the land and figuring out where I can take the land away without doing the most damage. Uh, because remember, when you take that much land away, you've got to put a lot back, uh, you know, after you get your buildings in. So you want to have a good idea of, you know, your your city and what it's going to look like, how it's going to be laid out. Um, are you going to have walls all the way around? I'm thinking this city may have walls that go all the way around and fall. Uh, the river down there and then work its way back and maybe through here but if you can look at the terrain right here this is almost cut out right in here so I need some sort of a transitioning between this bridge and this upper deck area that will eventually get filled in and then also too if you uh, you want to keep it all on one level then again you you want to pick an area that you don't have to do too much damn work uh, this area won't be too bad uh, you know, I can, you know, grade this back, you know, kind of in a nice circle pattern like it's kind of already cut out. Uh, put some bigger houses in here, and that way when I make the transition across the bridge, it's it's not such an abrupt change. Uh, then once I get up in here, I can start leveling this out to this level right here looks good. Because here it starts cutting back down again. So I'm going to have to fill all this in. And of course, you guys, you know, on Xbox or not in creative mode, uh, th this is why you want to plan ahead because you use a lot of resources and it takes a lot of time to do a mass terraforming of this nature. Um, so, like I said, you want to you want to plan it out. You want to make sure that um, you want to do as little work as possible, even though there's going to be a lot of work ahead of you. So, we'll go back over here to this bridge for a minute. All right, so we're going to look off this bridge, and we don't want to walk straight up. We, we want it to gradually push out into that cut area out here. So you want to take it up in layers. And again, look at your landscape and see what it's already doing. Sometimes you want to take uh, pieces of dirt and, and outline kind of, what you want to, you, kind of what you want the land to do. So here I want, it to, I want to take all this out to about this level here. And I'm just going to start pounding some of this away for a minute. And we'll take some of this out. And I'm not real crazy about this fucking hole right here. This is going to have to get filled in. Um, so I'll put some markers in here just to kind of remind me, even though I know, you know, it's, it's going to get filled in. There's no doubt. And I'm going to push this back because I know the level of this is going to be right about here. I'm going to start filling this in. And I'm OCD, so I gotta fill in everything. Uh, you know, you guys can fill right across the surface; it doesn't matter. But for me, if 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 I don't fill this in, I'm gonna know it's fucking here. Or later on, if I go to do something, 
and uh, I start digging and I hit a huge pocket or a hole and I fall in and die uh, if you know if I'm not in creative mode and like that happens um, then I'm gonna be pissed off so I want to go ahead and fill it in and make sure that I have a lot of dirt and a lot of land to work with uh, you know for for future add-ons and things like that so like I said I, I know I want to come out through here like this so I'm gonna go ahead and just finish filling this out and I'll probably speed this up okay now we got that filled in I want to start cutting this back just a little bit and making this wrap around and I want to take this down a level and I just want to keep working the levels back until I have a real nice transition and we're still working in sm like a small area so I mean you can fuck up and still be able to fix it and put it back and make it look halfway you know halfway decent but is what I want to do is I want this to make you know kind of a circle going into this so I need to cut this back quite a bit When you start getting further out, look at the horizon line of what you're cutting. And you can see high spots like that right there. And all I'm doing is I'm just working them high spots down. That way, at the angle that I'm looking, it'll, it, it, it appears even. And then as I work further back, of course, then I have more high spots. So I just keep working those high spots back until I'm satisfied at the, uh, the distance back that I want to go. And then, and then I come up here and I take another look. Um probably somewhere right in here is uh, where I'll start uh, leveling it up so we're gonna look at this bullshit down here uh, and I've obviously got a big fucking mess that's gonna have to be fucking MC edited I'm sorry or world edited uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in real quick and I'm gonna put a big chunk right there and then I'm gonna cut it back down again All right, so now I have my platform. I'm going to start cutting it back again. Because now I have a lot of solid dirt underneath there to work with. And, uh, you know, I don't have that big cavern to try to deal with. And you can see I'm kind of shaping this side at an angle because I want this to to run up a little bit steeper than I will over here and I, obviously I've got a lot of work to go yet and uh, I'll either speed this up or we'll just pick it back up when I'm uh, got to a good spot that I'm happy to show you guys Alright, so now we can take a look at it, and the basic shape is kind of laid out. And you see where I'm going to have two tiers coming up, one here and then one here. And I'll have to push that back a little bit more. I'm going to show you how to make this kind of fit in to the rest of this back here. So we're going to start back along this side right here. And you can kind of look how Minecraft lays out its blocks. You know, you got some that are angled, and then you got some long runs. Well, so what I try to do is I try to mimic that. And I'll do it up here in the air so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to start like right about here. And your deck level here, this is determined on how we, you know you see fit, um, what you feel comfortable, what you know what looks good. Um, 
the deck level here is about this wide so I'm going to try to keep that the same width down here so these are at an angle so I'm going to cut that first and I'll I kind of let it get a little close and then there's a couple long blocks so I'm going to kind of fudge that in a little bit make them a little bit longer and then some more longer ones and then another long run and another fucking hole I'm going to have to fill in but when I do it'll be somewhere about here and as what I'm doing is I'm just cutting this next layer down so it looks like it blends into this hill right here and I'm just going to fill this in for now kind of picked a bad area to do this but sometimes you're not going to have you know the perfect setup to do this shit uh, you know you want what you want and you're going to get what you get alright so you can see we cut through here so everything on this side at this level is going to get cut down flat so we're going to stay just inside of that area we just cut and we're going to get rid of everything inside of that and we're going to make it all one level this will give us a nice building uh, area, a nice flat area to put some some pretty good sized buildings and maybe even a gate of some sort that uh, you, know, you know works into the into the city behind us. So we're just going to keep cutting this back, and then this side here uh, we could probably follow that back layer. It looks like so I got some more shit here I got to take care of. Holy fuck. Uh, yeah, <laughs> picked a real bad area here, guys. Uh, we'll get through it. Like I always do, I'll push through it. Okay, you can see this kind of turns, and this is going to be filled in eventually. So you want to put some guidelines down to about where it will probably be filled in. And then take out any real hard corners. This is going to be filled in here. This is the next deck. And then all this is going to be filled in to this level here. So if we look at it from this angle, and I'll go back and I'll fill this in, but I just want to give you guys a real good idea of uh, you know what I'm doing here to blend this out. All right, so this is going to run into this deck over here. And this will get filled in. Like that and this here underneath will get filled in and fuck you oh shit bye asshole and we're gonna fill in this gap right here and I'm not really liking this so I'm gonna take that out and push this back a little bit Something like that. I'm going to push this one back just a hair. And this needs brought out. And that's looking pretty good so far. And as you can see, I'm doing a lot of this by hand. Uh, I do have, you know, MC Edit or World Edit at my disposal. And I use it on the big stuff. But for things like this, it's it's more of a feel it's more of a touch uh, you know every area is going to be different and MC edit or, or world edit is is very straight and it just gives you uh, you know a square area and then that's it and then I gotta cut cut that back down anyways by hand it, it's got a brush tool and I could probably fucking use that and I hear you know hot wire or somebody hollering at me right now you need to use the brush well and use the brush well I would but I'm trying to teach you guys how to do this by hand because not all of you have you know the brush tool at your disposal to use so that's why we're cutting it out by hand and then once all this grows back in it'll, it'll look a lot better and we're just gonna keep pushing this back And also, too, for those that are wondering, I'm using Zom's Mod Pack and uh, Single Player Commands. And that's how I can reach out uh, right about 30 blocks. I can set it up further than that, but uh, if I do that, then I start blasting the fuck out of things I don't want to blast 
the fuck out of. So uh, I, I set it about 30 blocks, and I'm pretty content with that. And you see, I'm copying this ledge right here for now. And I'm going to bring it back around here. And again, we're going to mimic that long edge. And then it cuts in a little bit. And I don't want that. And we'll go this way. And like I was saying, you can see that I'm way back here now, even though I, you know, up here is where I want the transition. So the, the big areas like this, you're going to have to go way back to get up and, and work from one corner back to where you need to be. Otherwise, it's just not going to look right. You're going to uh, either make the transition way too fast, and you're going to have a lot of chunked up areas that look like shit. Uh, you just take your time, and this, this definitely takes a lot of fucking time. Uh, probably what I'll do here, and you'll see in the time lapse, uh, what I post of it will be easily probably about an hour, maybe even an hour and a half.
All right, so that's what it looks like so far. And of course, it's not 100% complete, and it's probably not even 60% complete, because as I build this path out, I'm gonna readjust this terrain, but it'll make it a lot easier instead of having that, that fucking garbage that we had to mess with before. This whole area was tore up really bad, and I hope that, uh, you know, when you guys pick out your areas, you don't pick out an area that, that's gonna uh, need that much fucking work. Uh, and this one's still gonna need a lot more, and I'll nitpick this uh, as I as I build up through it. But the next step after you got the main part of you know what you want terraformed out, the transition. As we look at this bridge, we have three uh, basically three steps wide, and you wanna you wanna start making it wider at this point. Uh, this will give the you know the illusion of a really nice transition between uh, a, a smaller path into a bigger path, and then eventually as we get into the city. You know, you're probably going to be about seven or nine wide, uh, again, depending on the scale. But for this area right here, we'll probably go with five wide, and uh, we'll just go ahead and think it's it's going to run straight. Uh, I could open it up and make it go two different ways. Uh, at, you know, at this point, you got to kind of start thinking about what you want it to do. And and it, it'll change. The guys, it, it's always going to change, especially with these bigger builds. Uh, you're going to get, you know, a quarter of the way up into here, and you're going to be like, that looks like shit. And you're going to rip all these trees out, and you're going to go that way with it. And maybe I'll just go ahead and, um, if I put a a gate around this thing, or a, uh, a wall, I might want to keep it on the inside of these trees. So, again, when you're, when you're figuring this out, start kind of half-assing, you know, the design of what you want. You know, there might be a wall here... Uh, this right here, this looks like a good place to um, to put the uh, the forward part of the wall. So maybe right across here, I'm going to run the, uh, the the main gate. All right. So as you can see, I'm kind of half-ass laying out what I think will probably be the outline of some sort of a wall system. And I might even run it right through here. And, and like I said, and these are just, I mean, you can use dirt blocks, cobblestone blocks, whatever you want to give you an idea of about, about where you want the wall to go. You know, you don't want to keep it completely straight. You want to give it, you want to give it some look. And so this is going to weave in and out and kind of follow the inside of this, this hill right here. This would be the main gate. So now I have some sort of an idea of which way I want this path to start turning. And we can go five wide all the way up to that front gate. So I'm just going to kind of, again, rough this in. It's going to turn something of this nature. And right to here. And up through here, maybe. And I want to center up right about here. And I'll figure out the center later. I'm just kind of giving you guys an idea of, you know, how to how to kind of lead into your city. Uh, this could all be steps right here. I'm mean, hell. I may change that and make this whole thing just like a, a rounded off set of steps, which I think would look pretty badass. I might actually do that, uh, and then I could open this whole area up and instead of using cobblestone. I can start using my double stone because I think that's more of a uh, a classier look, anyways, uh, and start blending that in through the steps and use my circle patterns and actually start cutting this grass back in a circle pattern. That way everything comes out even and I work it all the way up to right here and then I've got a really nice decking up here with uh, some double slab and then maybe mix in some cobblestone or some regular stone and and get some sort of a pattern going on. The the main gate area or the you know your entrance into what you want to show off as your big build. This is what's going to make people continue into your, you know, into that build. If this looks like shit, they're going to stop here and they're not going to go any further. So you want to you want to pay special attention of how this greeting area is going to greet people. So that should pretty much cover the modern building style up here. So we're going to go downstream, and uh, we're going to go to the uh, the older town. The building style is the same. As far as you know, how you're going to lay it out, how you're going to cut things back, but this time I'm going to show you we're going to put some uh, some massive terraforming back in. So let's fly on down there. 
Oh, and on the way through, and while I'm up here, these are the A-frame houses. Uh, those that are following the, uh, the tutorials, there's one down there, and there's one right here. Uh, somebody had asked if you could scale, you know, if, if I could scale them down. These are scaled way down, actually, um, and probably in the third design, uh, that should come out probably next week. Um, I'll go ahead and show these again, and oh, I want to show you the church while I'm up here, too. Uh, this world started out as a test world. Uh, this is where I had, like, my Better Than Wolves um, uh, windmill tutorial. I had the, um, Jesus Christ, I had the big tower here. Uh, as you can see, I've already started breaking this down, and I, I started this a long time ago. And those who played on the old server will recognize this build. Uh, I built it uh, shortly after the server came up. And I built it in one about about one night, I guess it was. I found a bunch of pictures on the internet. So the the original design is not per se mine. Uh, I just I, I followed about three pictures uh, that somebody had built like this, and they were you know about out here like right about here. So I had to count all the blocks and I had to figure out where everything went. But I'm I'm trying to break it down. And if you guys want a tutorial on that, just go ahead and um, you know drop it down in the comment section. I'm probably going to do it anyways, but if I get like a shitload of requests for it, um, I'll try to bump it up a little bit closer. But right now I'm looking at probably about uh, three weeks out. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice church. It's it's pretty big for uh, the area over here. But the new area that we're putting in back here, uh, I'd probably use MC Edit and I'll spin this thing around maybe. Uh, and all this is terraformed, guys. This is this is all hand done. This This wasn't built up like this. It was... Uh, MC edited it out. It looked it was cut up really bad because I had a lot of different things here. Uh, you can see right here, uh, you know, the nice step pattern, but it blends nice. Uh, and yeah, I just used nice like four times in that fucking sentence. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, yeah, this is this is all terraformed right here, and this it wasn't a massive job, but there was a lot here that needed to be done. All this over here needed to be blended in. There was a big hole here. And, uh, and you know, and that's what I'm, you know, I'm trying to work in on this side. But I want this a lot flatter. I want a big area flat. Uh, so, anyways, all right, enough about that bullshit. Let's go look at the old town. All right, so you guys should remember in the last episode, I was talking about making this some kind of a, a harbor area, uh, and I needed a lot of, a lot of this. I wanted to fill back in. This landmass here is not wide enough to support housing, at least decent housing, as far as I'm concerned. So I can either come out this side, but you can see the water here is really, really deep. And that would take a lot of backfilling or covering up. So I don't really want to work uh, this area. I want, to, I want to leave this alone. That's going to take way too much fucking around. Over here, it's very shallow. Uh, you can see it's probably maybe three, four blocks deep at the most in most areas. Hell, right, right here it's only one. So this is perfect. Uh, so anyways, reverse terraforming, putting your land back in... If you, again, you want to figure out the the basic overall shape. I still want this to be cut out, but I just I need some more mass over here. So I'm going to pick a spot, and I'm going to say probably right about here. And I'm again I'm just going to start drawing a line, and I will you know adjust this as you know as I start getting it across here. Um, you could use a circle pattern if you wanted to. Um, a lot of mine are just what I see, what I feel, what it looks, you know, what what looks good to me. So I'm going to start building this across. And again, everything on this side will get filled in. All right, so that there will get me a lot of real estate, and I'll be able to fill all this in, and I will keep it down here at this level right here. Uh, and I may even go ahead and level the whole thing out and then bring up my own mountains and take all the trees out. This, uh, this little lake here area, that looks really good. This would be a good uh, place for a park. Uh, so you want to scope those areas out too. 
Uh, you know, if you got creative mode, you can fly around, take a look at things. Uh, this is pretty narrow as far as getting boats back in here. Uh, so probably smaller boats would be fine. I may have to cut this back a little bit, but I don't know I kind of like this little thing and you know and that structure there. So I may leave it. Uh, and then again on the outside, we want some sort of a water break, uh, you know, a, a solid wall, if you will. So as you can see, I've already started off this bridge, and this this may change. I don't know. I kind of like it, and again, I kind of don't. Uh, you guys know by now that's that's just how I how I work. Um, so you'll have some sort of a wall that you know will almost contain the water on the outside, even though the grass will be you know water level. Uh, it, it's like if high tide comes in, it washes against that, and it doesn't erode the uh, the side of the sides of the land. And that fucking tree's got to go because it's just ugly as shit by itself right there. Get all right. So we tear that up, and then we'll take another look from uh, from up high. And it's a little jagged. I may bring this in just a little bit more, and uh, and that way I've got a little bit more of a cutout. And I'm actually, I was, I think I've already said this, but on the last, uh, last episode of cutting this out too, and and making this wrap around both ways. That way, this river feeds into that one. Uh, so, anyways, guys, that's pretty much how you mass terraform. That's the best way that I can teach it is to to actually show you, you know, me me doing it. Uh, there's there's just some things if you're like me. Uh, you know, I can talk all day about it, but unless you actually see it or you've practiced it or you've had your hands into it, and that sounds dirty as hell, <laughs> but, um, you know, unless you've actually, you know, done it that way or you, you learn like I do, you've got to see it. You, you've got to see somebody do it uh, to understand, well, if I just, you know, stand down here in the middle of the grass and I say, well, just round, round this off over here. Well, you can't see it. You know, so if I say just, you know, we're, you know, we're going to fill this in. Well, from down here, it, it already looks like it's kind of straight. But when you go up, you can see it's cut in pretty deep. Uh, so anyways, I mean, that's that's pretty much the gist of uh, episode six, uh, mass terraforming. Uh, just you got any questions, any comments, put them down in the, uh, the comment section below. Uh, remember to rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. And if it looks like shit, tear it down, blow it up, or just build it better. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.